like to hear. I'll let you, you, you yeah, you way across, yeah, go for it. All right, Jim Massesville, we're back again. We're in the same spot, the training facility of the 2018 Big Ten champions. Sounds so sweet. I'm here with senior captain Ross Thompson. How you doing today? Fantastic. Good, 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 man. I've been watching y'all in the gym. Y'all been killing it. It's great to be around Big Ten champions in the mix. How does that feel to, you know, to be a Big Ten champion? I mean, truly, it's amazing. Uh, we worked so hard every single year, putting in the time, putting in the effort. And I mean, the first few years I was here, we came up short of our goal. And I mean, that really just kind of let everyone down. But honestly, that that built us stronger and that's why I think last year happened was we were tired of it we we knew what we were doing and we put in the work we finally I mean we won big tens and that was amazing but we really you know we want to go for the national title now oh that's what I like to hear so you're a senior now is that correct okay um if you could go back in time and give yourself as a freshman advice from your senior self what would it be a good question uh i would say as i mean it's kind of cheesy but you're never working hard enough you know you never know who's doing something at ou or who's doing something at ohio state but i mean just know that there's somebody that's probably going to be hungrier than you who's going to want it more and always just strive to be better and work the extra turn and just keep on driving yourself because i think that that's what it takes to honestly be at the next level and I think maybe my freshman year I didn't 100% understand it, but I mean obviously a couple of years go by, you live and you learn. Yeah. So. No, exactly. All right. Uh, what events you looking to contribute to the team this year? Uh, high bar, floor, and parallel bars. I actually haven't competed parallel bars yet, but uh, I'm trying to change that this year. Okay, that's what I like to hear. Uh, what's your so far? What's your favorite uh, gymnastics or moment in college with your teammates or coaches or? Uh, I mean, Big Tens was definitely something crazy, but honestly, it goes back to my freshman year. I, uh, after day one of NCAAs, uh, my, Justin came out with, we started on high bar the next day, and I was the first guy up, and I just remember being so scared standing up there on the podium, and they finally called my name. They said it on the intercom, but I actually was so nervous, I didn't even hear, like, <laughs> I didn't even look at the judges, and, yeah. uh, so the judges were actually telling me to stop. And it got to the point where I was just jumping up on the bar. They're like, whatever, just let them go. Um, but I, I slayed the set. I stuck the landing. And they just, my whole team popped off. And it just set the kind of the rhythm for the rest of the meet. Nice. What went well for you guys that helped you guys capture that Big Ten title last year as a team? Like, what do you think was the single biggest thing to help you guys go over the hump? Because you mentioned earlier you guys got second place a few years in a row. What helped you guys get over the hump? Um, honestly, I think it was just finding us. You know, a lot of times uh, teams kind of look in the past and they see, like, what they did to find success. And I think sometimes we get a little caught up in that. Um, and last year, it's not like that we threw all that out. We learned from what the other teams did. But we found who we are as a team. And, we, I mean, we lost ourselves in the conditioning. We just had fun, you know. We were blasting music. And we just really found out who we are as a team. And we grew from that. And we just capitalized on every moment we possibly could. And then some of that came with just never giving up. Yeah. I mean, we started out at Big Ten's Palm Horse, which was honestly not the best start ever to meet. Um, but we just kept on putting in the work, and we just were us at the meet. And it was it was so much fun, especially after high bar. Like, I mean, it, we weren't even like trying; we we're just having fun out there. Yeah, I think you guys won that high bar rotation by like two, three points. Out of everybody, <laughs> you guys were just insane last year. Uh, when you look at to this year's team. Who are some, you know, individuals in your team you guys are looking to really contribute heavily to you guys this year? Um, I mean, definitely a couple names come to my mind. Um, Sebastian, for sure, Alex Diab, Johnny Jacobson. Those are all guys who, I mean, you come in here every single day and you just see them on every event. They're just doing their sequences. And it's not like they're just doing their sequences, you know. They're doing their sequences with nothing off. And they do they put in the work turn after turn, event after event. And you can tell, like, you know, those guys are the ones that are going to be leading this team on and off the floor too so nice could you talk about how your coaches has, has helped you guys through this whole process finally getting over that hump contending every year for a title um absolutely so um i mean justin and dan and don they're always great coaches in the gym but i mean a lot of us on the team look to them for even more advice like i mean to me i see them as mentors as well um and with that becomes a, like a good push from them uh, like when somebody is coaching you day in and day out, but you also look up to them so much, 
you listen to everything they have to say and you you just soak it up and you drive with what they want you know and yeah. and what they have laid out for us is honestly is perfect for what we need okay NCAA season is very long it's a lot different than the JL season where you have competitions and they're spaced out uh, but obviously when once January starts even December you guys have meets like every single week and I saw you guys uh, line up this year you guys have a ton of great teams how do you get your body and mind through that grueling year uh, honestly it's, it comes down to just efficiency I mean coming into the, the, the gym we talk about it so much uh, as a team but being able to do your halves in the first two or three turns is I mean that's the next level of training and that's what we need and that's ownership of your skills and your routine so it's once you have that down I mean you stop taking the 50 extra turns that you need to you know work your colon after you I mean if you catch it three out of three times you have that pretty much owned yeah so you don't need that couple 15 extra because you're missing them but I mean it's really just comes down to being efficient bring purpose to every single turn um, I mean it's even on this wall right here but bringing purpose to just your mental approach to gymnastics and also just your turn by turn warm-up swings every little thing it all matters nice and last question or maybe another one I may ask you another <laughs> one about this but my thing is this you guys have a ton of great teams you're going against next year over the last four years other than obviously you love competing at home I'm sure is there any other arena or team you guys like going to and competing Ooh. Uh, I would definitely say so. Um, I mean, one thing that comes to my mind is Oklahoma. I mean, Ooh, okay. I mean, I like y'all the guys going there team. this yeah, year. Yeah, we are going there this year. But I mean, it is fun. It's exciting, you know. Yeah. Um, no matter who stays a routine, I feel like their crowd there is they're happy. They're in into the meet and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like the their venue too as well. It's not spread out. It's yeah. pretty compacted. It's kind of like ours, so maybe that's why I kind of like it a little bit. All right, and last question. What is a fighting alumni? Fighting alumni? Uh, I mean, I, I, if I had to do, say if it was Justin in here, you know, it is it's everything that's right here. Gotcha. You know, it's 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 life. It's a lifestyle. It's not just something you do. So. Awesome. All right, that's Ross Thompson. Thompson. Thompson, yeah. Ross Thompson, senior captain, University of Illinois. Thanks for the interview. Absolutely, my man. All right. Thank you.